Okay, before I start, I have an announcement. I'm missing my water bottle, and this is really important to me. I have a bet with my mom, and I'm not paying her $30. So, has anyone seen a silver metal water bottle with, like, a black lid? Okay, well, I'll start. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kendall. Hi. I'm a senior in Omaha North. And my poem is titled, Phases of the Moon. I purchased a t-shirt that said, this is not a phase. I am not the moon. My sexuality is incapable of waxing and waning, and I'm not training for the leg Olympics. I promise, this is not to be hip or cool. We both know I've never been either one of those things. I'm too awkward and infatuated with the premise of school. This runs so much deeper. Ingrained in the fibers that make up my being, if you were to ever so lightly tap one of these strings, you would hear my body sing, and the specific repetition of half notes would be a <coughs> recurring chord intertwined into my sophisticated melody. Please, do not correlate my sexual attraction to emotional detachment. It's never worked that way. I'm sorry, my sexuality <coughs> isn't what you wanted it to be. Because logically, of course I would avoid the opposite sex because we don't think the same way as if I don't interact with him every day because my romantic attraction has never occasionally extended his way. Do not tell me I dated them because it made more sense. Right, because for some mystical reason, our thoughts are supposed to synchronize because we both have vaginas. Like, we not only shared cycles during the waning of the moon, but thoughts. Because my vaginal telepathic capabilities only formed when, well, I was in an ovary-oriented relationship. I'm sorry. By no means have I contemplated my moral compass for so long because the only security blanket I ever had told me everything about me was wrong. I can't tell you who I really am. Your perceptions of gender don't extend past women and men, and in no way do I blame you, but please don't tell me you can dictate my realities because the beginning of them developed in your womb. At times, I feel my perceptions of gender extend past the capacities of man. They wrap around the universe for an infinite amount of times, and with the growth of the spiral, your outdated mindset falls farther and farther behind. I could simply tell you it's experimentation and calm your overbearing imagination, as if these feelings were falsified feelings, fantasies I envisioned meeting my fancy since the beginnings of my time. I can't falsify feelings. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm not what you wanted me to be. I'm sorry I'm gay.